Introducing Object-Oriented Programming with c a new course from Purple.com. c is the underlying programming language used when you're developing video games in the Unity engine. It's also the language you work with when developing cross-platform mobile apps in Xamarin. It's a popular choice for developing desktop Windows applications and is commonly used for web services as well. In order to build any of these types of software, you first got to get a handle on c itself. And that's what taking this class will allow you to do. In this beginner level c course, we're going to teach you the fundamental concepts of this versatile, object-oriented programming language. If you've never worked in OOP before, that's fine. This course will teach you everything you need to know about that concept as well. In this video, the one you're watching now, I'm going to walk you through the course syllabus, then go over the course prerequisites, and show you how this class is structured and what you can expect when you enroll. On day one, we'll begin by getting you familiar with Rex Tester, a cloud-based code editor for c -sharp. Though we encourage you to use a full IDE later on, using Rex Tester in the beginning allows you to start coding immediately without installing anything on your computer. Once you're comfortable in the editor, we'll jump into the primitive data types available in c -sharp and introduce concepts like scope, overflow, and type conversion. Next, we'll move on to mathematical operators like addition and multiplication, as well as logical operators like AND and OR. In section four, we begin building up your understanding of OOP. We explain key concepts like classes and inheritance, then we show you abstract classes and additional basic data types, including structures. In section five, we move on to more complex data types like arrays and enumerators. And in section six, we cover how to control the logical flow of an application with if statements, switch statements, several kinds of loops, and more. In section seven, we go deeper into arrays and strings. We cover complex topics like multidimensional arrays, jagged arrays, how to build lists, and how to modify strings. For the next section, we depart from OOP briefly to talk about the procedural programming patterns that are sometimes used in c -sharp. While we will focus mainly on OOP in this course, it is useful to at least have a passing understanding of how some programmers are using c -sharp to write procedural code instead. In section nine, we jump back into OOP classes and deep dive on the date and time class one of the most useful packages available for c -sharp. In the next section, we focus on I.O., that's input and output. We'll show you how to connect to the file system of the machine that the program is running on, and how to make sense out of directory structures and paths. This course will end with a lecture on handling errors and debugging your code. While you never want errors per se, learning how to handle them and fix them when they inevitably occur is a core skill in any programming language. And that's it. So, how is this course structured? Like all of the classes at purple.com, this is a self-paced online course, meaning there are no deadlines. You can go as fast or as slowly as you want. But there are quite a few homeworks and projects you'll need to complete and submit as you go. You'll watch video lectures, work on homework projects, and if you like, participate in group discussions and coding challenges in our student forum. When you complete the course and pass all the homeworks and projects and final exam, you'll earn a digital certificate with your name on it that is unique and blockchain verified. You can share it on LinkedIn, print it out, or link to its public URL on your resume. But more importantly, when you complete this course, you'll be ready to start using c -sharp professionally, whether that means jumping into game development with Unity or mobile app development with Xamarin. You'll have the skills. It's up to you to decide how you'll want to apply them. So what are the prerequisites? This is a beginner level course, which means you don't need any programming experience at all, but you must have access to a full-size laptop or desktop with a modern browser and a fast internet connection. And you must have permission to install software like an IDE on the workstation you're using. This is not the kind of class you can take or pass on your phone. You'll need a real workstation. If you want to watch sample videos from this course, you can do so on the course landing page. And that's where you can also read the details of the course syllabus and more. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us anytime. If you're not already on our site right now, just visit purple.com, then click on Our Courses, and then you can click on the course you're interested in, get all the details, and enroll from there. Welcome, and congratulations on jumping into the world of C-sharp. Looking forward to seeing you in the course.